Okay, I'm gonna share something that you really need to know. If you have a home flex uh, charger and you have EVs and your uh, power company's got time of day rates, even about the time of day rates, you really need to know this because I didn't know it. This is our home flex charger that I installed myself back a little over a year ago, right after we got this 2023 Bolt EV. It's worked real well, no complaints about it. No problems at all. Charges up to 48 amps, pretty close to what the maximum this car can handle. And uh, so um, this Chevy Bolt EV can handle up to about 11.5 kilowatts. And we got this Model 3 from my son back in March of this year. And, uh, and we, we use this level two charger to charge both of them routinely. We're always charging them. This is great because with the solar panels we got down there in the pasture and so forth, we save a lot of money on gas and hassle. We go somewhere, we just come home, plug it in, we're good to go. But what's happened is our power company has gone to time of day rates. They just recently did that. Right now for the winter period since November 1st, the time of day rate for here, we're in Blue Ridge Electric Co-op, Peak time is 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And the way it works is Blue Ridge has um, changed their normal rate per kilowatt hour from like 15.25, I believe, cents per kilowatt hour down to 13.9 cents, which, okay, okay, that's good. They dropped the rate. However, they added peak periods. It's different for the winter and summer. For the winter now, it's between 6 and and nine o'clock a.m. in the morning. And what they do is they charge you an extra $13 per kilowatt for uh, per kilowatt for every kilowatt you use during that peak period. As you can see, if you're charging at something like 11 and a half kilowatts, that can get real expensive. All it takes is charging one of these things at the wrong time, you got a big problem. Well, to prevent that risk, I found out I could program this charge point for a, a schedule it so it doesn't charge during those time periods. And it's worked really well. This is the charge point app <clears throat> from the home screen, which I've tapped on home down here. Go to schedule. You can schedule it for weekdays or for weekends. I've got it scheduled to start charging at 9.30 a.m. and end at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. <clears throat> you can't see it. Uh, let me get rid of that. There it is, Five, same thing there. What that means is between 5.30 in the morning and 9.30, it won't charge. And this has worked really well. Our actual peak times from our power company is six to nine i just gave myself an extra half hour on either side to be to be safe but that's how you do it and this does work well but this morning i had gone out actually gone out to vote and came back and uh, i had took the tesla this car was sitting here it was finished charging last night so it was no problem this morning and uh the uh uh, Tesla, I took it off to vote, and I came back, and I said, okay, let me go ahead and charge it up. So I moved the ch charge cord here from the vault. Real quickly, I moved it over to here, because no big deal. Put the adapter on it, plug it into the Tesla. Uh, well, let me just check and make sure the charge point system was working right. And I checked on the screen, and I'm not going to show you that now. You don't need to know, but it was charging. And it was only 9.15. I had set the time of day rates from 5.30 a.m. to 9.30. I thought, what's going on? It's not supposed to be charging. It wasn't hurting us because it was after the 9 o'clock period. Got charge point customer service on the phone. And he told me exactly what had happened. They have a feature built into these charge point chargers so that in case you don't have your phone with you and you need to charge, you can do what they call a double bump on the cord, which is if instead of just plugging it in, you, 
you you uh, take it out for five seconds, plug it back in, it disables the scheduling function. What had happened is I'd taken the cord out of this car, plugged it into the Tesla fast enough that it thought it was a double bump, apparently. That's apparently what happened. And because he had a, the customer service agent at Church Point had a record of that double bump. And uh, so he said to fix that, he said to go back to the schedule, I just can pull the, char the cord out of the car, wait for 10 seconds, plug it back in, and it's back on the schedule. I did not know any of that. But not knowing that could get expensive. That's why I wanted to share this video with people. So, so I hope you found this useful. I don't know what other types of chargers might do a similar thing as this charge point. It's a good charger. We like it. All this is work. We really love having these EVs and avoiding gas stations and all that. But you need to know this, especially if you're on time of day race with your uh, power company. So if you got something out of this, please like the video. Uh, check out our other links. Subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Thanks a lot.